From our digital team, a recent high school graduate in Hinesville is gaining support for his online petition. Devonte King is looking to change the name of the Bradwell Institute. WSAB.com Now reporter Ashley Williams spoke with him about what inspired his mission. The Bradwell Institute has had the same name since the 1800s. Now in the wake of recent changes in response to racial injustice, a recent grad says it's time to rename his former school. Devonte King has big plans for his future. The 18 year old recently graduated from Hinesville's Bradwell Institute and is headed off to Howard University. Before he goes to college, he hopes to spark change at his alma mater. After all the recent events with um, George Floyd and Maude Aubrey here in our own backyard, I just felt like it was time for us to make a positive change in our community. Last month, he started an online petition to rename the Bradwell Institute. He says within two hours of it going live, it amassed 200 signatures of support. King wants to see the school named after Septima Clark, an educator and civil rights activist. She worked here in Liberty County at the Dorchester Academy to um, teach people how to vote and to teach people how to read. And after seeing that and seeing the impact she had on the Liberty County education system, I could have thought there was no better person to name the school after. Liberty County school system officials say they are aware of the petition. However, Superintendent Dr. Franklin Perry shared in a statement, the Board of Education has had no discussions concerning the matter and are currently concentrating on beginning the 2020-2021 school year. Once the petition garners enough support, King hopes to discuss it with the school board. I'm excited to get to sit to the table and talk to them about what we can do for our name. Ashley Williams, WSAV.com now. So far, just under 700 people have signed the petition. King's goal is to get 1,000. You can read more about why he wants the change and see the petition for yourself at WSAV.com Bradwell.